Tornado watches, thunderstorm warnings, and that was just the first wave. That's right. Now the second wave is stronger. It's even pushing our way as we speak, and flash flooding is also a huge concern. Our meteorologist Angela Buckman is tracking those storms for all of us tonight. Angela. Andrea and John, we will start with what's on radar right now. Showers and a few thunderstorms, some pockets of heavy rain. This is live Doppler 13 radar, and we travel north and east of Interstate 69. Here's 69 with the heaviest rain east of that interstate near Hartford City and Portland. This is getting ready to move into parts of Ohio, but we definitely still have some heavy rain from Portland south through Ridgeville into Winchester along 27 in our eastern viewing area. We move to the Lebanon area up along Interstate 65 with more pockets of heavy rain developing. We're really going to watch each and every cell closely as we do have enough spin in the atmosphere for some severe weather. Right now, heavy pockets of rain. Lafayette south through Petersburg into Crawfordsville, south through Ladoga. We also south along Interstate 65 have some heavy rain right now over Lebanon, heart of Boone County. Spotty showers west of Indiana. Indianapolis western sections of Hendricks County and then as we move toward Greencastle in the eastern sections of Putnam County. We are also tracking a line of showers and thunderstorms forming from just south of Chicago through Springfield, Illinois. This will keep the severe threat going over the next several hours. What you need to know right now, no warnings. However, we are under that tornado watch until 9 o'clock this evening. It's a severe thunderstorm watch across parts of Illinois due to that next line of storms that is forming. Flash flood watch continues for all of central Indiana until the very early part of tomorrow morning. Rainfall totals so far nearing two inches at Kokomo, three quarters of an inch in Lafayette, an inch and a quarter in Rensselaer, and we are expecting more. Rainfall with this weather system as it ends still could be in the range of one, two, three inches, and we do expect the southern part of the state to get some of that heavier rain as that line continues to form. Future Track 13, 7 o'clock this evening, shows the spotty showers and thunderstorms continuing, and this line will continue to push into central Indiana 9 o'clock tonight, extending from Marion to Muncie, Indianapolis to Martinsville, Greencastle to Terre Haute. Line of storms will move slowly south and east. We're still going to be tracking storms when you join us tonight for the night beat at 11 o'clock and still some pockets of heavy rain with that flooding threat and that damaging wind threat as well. By the time we hit 1 o'clock tomorrow morning, the majority of the severe threat will be over as the line of showers and thunderstorms exits the state. What will follow? Something we will all feel and that's a dramatic drop in temperature. We're concerned with the severe threat tonight. Tomorrow, temperatures for highs only in the middle and upper 60s. It is going to turn much cooler and stay cool over the next several days. Remember, tornado watch until 9 p.m. We are also under that flash flood watch. Stay with us. We're going to keep you updated with team coverage as more pockets of heavy rain and storms begin to develop. 68 tomorrow afternoon, 68 Friday, Saturday 65, Sunday 68 with sunshine. But that will come after a morning low of 45.